Hello, my name is Leopoldo Armesto and in this video I'm about to explain how to create a robot from scratch using the software Copeliasim or VREP and in this case we are uh, going to create a walking robot, uh, it's a hipless robot indeed, it's called VPET because it has two foot and, um, and uh, the files associated with this robot you can find them in the video description okay so you, there's a link there you can download the files and follow the following steps in order to create uh, this robot okay so uh, let's start by uh, actually importing the files or the mesh files associated with this robot so let's go for file menu import mesh and let's go to these are the files indeed uh, that I have uh, or that, that I provide you so you can select all of them and just click in open remember to uh, here we need to uh, set the proper scaling because of the units uh, uh, included in these files is in millimeters so we need to put the correct units and then we have to uh, just simply select app vector z and import it okay this takes short time and here we have our robot okay well at least this is the aspect of a robot, okay? So let's... Here it is, okay? So what, what you have to do now is, on the one side, you have to rename the shapes you have imported, okay? So you can identify them easily, okay? So for instance, this shape here, this is the Arduino board, okay? So let's call it Arduino. Okay, the next shape this thing here, it's a Bluetooth uh, module, okay, so let's call it Bluetooth. Okay, and then you can go for all the shapes here, for instance, uh, the ones here in the leg, okay, this is, uh, you, can, you can try to find or the, set the names that I use for, uh, for the original files if you want, but this one is uh, left leg metal because this part is made of metal, and this part here, for instance, this is the ankle, so it's the left one, so it's left ankle, and I used to use wood, so it's uh, made of wood, and uh, even this small component here, uh, this is a rivet, it's uh, something we use to attach the metal part to the wood part, so it's, uh, let's call it left rivet okay as it is yeah and yeah you can rename your files with the names you want okay and the other important thing is that you have to or ideally you will have to would like to have colors in your uh, parts and components okay so let's select for instance this one this is a servo motor so if you click on the uh, icon double click there you can go for adjust color and select the color you want. For instance, servers are usually, uh, well, I usually use a blue color, okay? Or you can select, for instance, that one, which is a buzzer, and this electronic usually has a black uh, aspect, so I can just, just simply decrease all the colors here, or the Arduino board is red or usually I use red for that so I can decrease the green and the blue component and then I have a red color okay so in this step please finish all these uh, all these instructions complete all these instructions to have uh, the proper uh, names on, on the parts and uh, some colors whatever you want okay thank you very much